Welcome everyone. Welcome to Python for Everyone Lab 2. In the Lab 1, we have already seen uh, how to use Colab. Colab is extremely powerful uh, Jupyter notebook which is hosted on the Google Drive. And we have seen very detailed uh, revision of Colab, what the Colab is used for. We have solved 10 elaborate problems there. And most of the capabilities of the Colab we have already seen. So if you are not used to Colab, then I would recommend you first you go that to lab 1 and see the Colab and then uses to Colab, then uses use uh, files of the Colab. Now in this lab, we will be solving the six problems. So these are the six problems here, calculate area of circle and triangle here, and then how to swap, program to swap two variables, program to generate random number, we will be generating integer random number and also fractional random number. Some conversion like kilometers to miles, you can also do from degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit and those type of conversions here. And uh, program to find maximum of two numbers and program to check whether the number is odd or even. So let's move on now. So the first program here we are writing is program to calculate area of the circle or tri and triangle. Okay, so here uh, we are just giving up. A comment here hash calculate area of the circle now to calculate area of the circle you will need uh, radius of the circle so we are asking let that radius of the circle be user defined so we have here command radius is equal to input enter the radius of the circle so whatever is entered we want to convert it into float the number so the radius is stored as float why float because in the area of the circle uh, this radius is going to be multiplied by a float by a fractional number 3.14 that is pi and that's why we convert this radius into float so area of area circle is equal to we now provide the formula here 3.14 into radius into radius and uh, this is how uh, you get uh, this formula here and you print now area so when you run this code what happens is you enter the radius of the circle say 12 and it will calculate area of the circle now for calculating area of the triangle, you will need both a base and the height. You know the area of the triangle is nothing but base and height. So the formula is 0 0.5 multiplied by base multiplied by height. So you need to ask two inputs. One is input for the base and input for the height. So let us go ahead, user input for base. Base is equal to enter the base, you say here, uh, use the input function and convert it to the float. And then height again, uh, enter the height and again convert it into a float number. And now we are going to calculate using the formula that is uh, area of triangle is equal to 0.5 that is half multiply by base multiply by height and now print the area. Okay. So here it how it runs is enter the base of the triangle. Uh, we enter 10 height 20 and then it will calculate area of the triangle that is 1.5 0 0.5 into 10 into 20 that is 100 okay next we come to program to swap two variables now this we are going to solve in two different ways first we are going to solve first we will ask for two variables store one variable in a temporary variable that is a third variable then assign the things and do the swapping so here uh, here is the comment swap two variables using temporary variable that method we are going to use uh, user input ask for the first variable user input for a and then ask for the second variable the second variable is provided now the first variable we are going to store in a temporary variable okay so temp is equal to a look at this and now a is equal to b we are assigning value of b to a and now for b we are going to assign the value of a and original a is stored in temp and therefore b is equal to temp okay so assign value of temp which is original a to b and this is how and finally you print after the swap uh, you know a is equal to a and b is equal to b so here you enter enter the first variable 5 enter the second variable 3 and after swapping a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 5 we entered 5 and 3 but swapped is 3 and 5 other way of doing this is uh, something called as tuple unpacking what is tuple unpacking python is extremely powerful language in python you don't have to give the variables one line after another you can give multiple assignment in the same single line just for example say uh, you want to say a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 3 
you know and d is equal to 4 you can do that in python as a comma b comma c comma d is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so python will automatically take it as a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 c is equal to 3 d is equal to 4 so now we are going to use this for swapping right so now uh, we ask for two inputs a and b and we just say a is equal to b is equal to b is equal to a a comma b is equal to b comma a and that will get instant swapping this is called as tuple unpacking we will see this more when uh, in the later part of the course next program is generating random variables now there are two types of random variables one is integer random and another is the fractional random for generating integer random you will generate the integer random between two limits say you want to generate between 0 to 100 so lower limit is 0 upper limit is 100 and between these two 0 to 100 you will generate the random number so let's do that for this you need to import a module called as random so here it is import the random module and then uh, we are going to ask them what is the lower limit and what is the upper limit and these are integers okay so now look at this uh, lower limit is equal to int input we are going to receive this input from the user and enter the lower limit and similarly enter the upper limit and now between these two limits we want to generate integer random number so i will call that variable number as random number so random number is equal to random dot rand int int stands for integer and in the bracket i will provide the limits lower limit and upper limit and then print whatever the random number generated between two when i run this program lower number lower limit is zero upper limit is 100 and the random number generated will, will be between 0 to 100 and that is 53 is generated in this case now if i want a fractional random number what happens is i have to the fractional random number will be generated between 0 to 1 right so here again you need that random module so import random and now it will generate between 0 to 1 so you don't have to give the lower limit and the upper limit so what you say random number is equal to random dot random bracket okay so here you don't have to give the limits uh, the lower and upper limit because it is by default 0 and 1 and it will give you random number so when i run this code i get a random number 0 0.0423 if i run it again i may get some another random number randomly purely between 0 to 1 or i may get the same number it's purely random right most likely it will not get because to repeat uh, such a number randomly again uh, is impossible literally impossible next now we do the conversion that is program to convert kilometers to miles you can do this conversion for any other things like converting degree celsius to fahrenheit or converting one unit to another unit so on and so forth so this is the conversion program so convert kilometers to mile first you ask for use user input number of kilometers and you save it as km kilometer so km is equal to float uh, enter the kilometers okay input enter kilometers whatever is entered now we know the formula 1 kilometer is equal to 0 0.621371 miles so miles is nothing but kilometers into 0 0.621371 right so now i have miles now in this place now i want to print this kilometers is equal to this many miles and now look at this statement here okay so i say print f and in the quotes i say uh, curly brackets kilometers km this is the variable this variable km here km kilometers is equal to miles this is i have defined miles here miles miles and here you look at this f here this initializes the variables inside and the value will be placed right so when i run this what happens is that i will give the kilometers say 100 kilometers and i enter and it said 100 kilometers is equal to 62.1371 miles look at this okay now fun is if you remove this this f what happens the whole thing just will be taken as uh, just purely string and it will not be taken as the variables so look at the change in color of the of the variables right right so look at the say when i remove f it is just uh, you know the maroon color <coughs> and when i place it f here you will know that these are the variables whose value will be derived from the function from the program next now the fifth problem program to find maximum of two numbers right so we can do this in two ways either we can use just the max function which is uh, inbuilt defined get the two numbers number a number b 
and here we will get them as only integers you can do it as float as well but we are getting it as integers and uh, use the max max between a and b right and print again uh, uh, look at the print statement f max between a and b values of a and b will be picked up here is equal to max number which is your stored max so max number is equal to max comma between a and b a comma b a and b are the user defined numbers that you have uh, inputted okay so here when you run is enter the first number 5 enter second number 3 max between 5 and 3 is 3 is 5 and this is you know uh, is done by this max a comma b other way to do this is using the if else statement right so again you get the two numbers a and b and if a is greater than b colon then indentation right here the four spaces we see one two three four print maximum number is a and if it is not so maximum number is b now if somebody does a mischief and enters the same numbers then what will happen you please uh, modify this program and tell me what will happen in that case okay <laughs> again you will have to uh, add one more statement and I am waiting for that statement from you do write what will happen in the comment box uh, the last one here uh, to check if the number is even or odd right so to check the number is even or odd what we do we divide by 2 if the remainder is 0 we say it is even if the remainder is non-zero we say it is odd okay again you ask for the number we are doing this for the integers so integer input enter the number and uh, here you use the if statement if number reminder when divided by 2 if the reminder is equal to 0 look at this equal to equal to it is not plain equal to so equal to equal to means is equal to right if it is equal to 0 if this condition is true print the number is even else number is odd and when you run it I just entered the number 208 the number is even a uh, number is even 208 uh, module 2 you know it is divis uh, the remainder is 0 so the number is even and the output is number is even so this is how we complete our uh, lab 2 the, the first six problems of our 72 problems that we are going to solve make sure that you solve each problem uh, you may solve using VS code pie charm whatever you are comfortable with go ahead and solve but do solve okay programming you will master only when you start solving the problems so you have to solve the problems lot of problems you have to solve in the comment uh, you tell me which was the best program you liked and please stay with the series so that in next couple of months time you will fairly master python thanks a lot have a good day